purpose of this video series is to assist organisations to understand their obligations under the Blue Card system. In particular, how to develop a child and youth risk management strategy. This introductory video will provide an overview of the role and purpose of the Blue Card system and the obligations which apply to organisations regulated by the system. First, we will discuss the role and purpose of the Blue Card system. The Blue Card system contributes to the creation of safe service environments for children in a number of ways, namely, Child and youth risk management strategies are required to be developed and implemented by all organisations that provide regulated services to children. Blue card checks are undertaken to determine a person's eligibility to work with children based on known police or disciplinary information, and compliance with risk management and blue card requirements are audited, and police information of all cardholders is monitored on a daily basis. As an organisation, you will need to determine whether you are required to comply with the requirements under the Blue Card system, including developing a risk management strategy. So, how do you know if your organisation is regulated by the Blue Card system? The first important thing to know is that the Blue Card system does not apply to every environment where a child may be present. The Blue Card system is structured so that organisations providing services which are essential to children's development and well-being, such as childcare, education, sport and cultural activities are captured. Further information to assist you in determining whether your organisation is regulated can be accessed on the Blue Card Services website. So, if you are a regulated organisation, what are you required to do? If you have determined that your organisation is a regulated organisation, then by law your organisation must develop and implement a child and youth risk management strategy and ensure compliance with blue card requirements. It is important to understand that penalties apply in relation to failure to comply with requirements under the blue card system. So what exactly is a child and youth risk management strategy? As we have mentioned, all organisations falling within the scope of the Blue Card system are required to develop and implement child and youth risk management strategies which address eight minimum requirements. The remainder of this video series will help guide you through each of the eight requirements in more detail. So why is risk management important? Well. Parents want to feel comfortable having their child participating in different activities in different locations with different people. And children want to feel safe when they are in these settings. People who seek to harm children often target organisational environments which have dysfunctional cultures and an absence of effective risk management. We know that the best way to keep children safe is to create and promote child-safe and child-friendly environments by implementing strategies to identify and minimise the risk of harm. So, what if you determine that your organisation is required to develop and implement a child and youth risk management strategy? Where should you start? We recommend that you watch the remainder of the risk management video series so that you can familiarise yourself with the eight requirements. Additionally, you should access the toolkit which is available on the risk management page of the Blue Card Services website. The toolkit provides more detailed information and guidance on the eight minimum requirements. When you get to the stage of drafting your risk management strategy, it is a good idea to ensure that all people involved with your organisation, especially children and young people, are consulted in the development and review of your strategy. This will assist to build an understanding of the importance of the strategy and build a culture which recognises and values the importance of upholding safeguards for children. Safe service environments don't just happen. They require ongoing planning, commitment and maintenance. Thank you for taking the time to learn about child and youth risk management strategies. 
We encourage you to continue watching the remaining videos on offer from the Blue Card Services Learning Portal.